Hello, my name is Robin Deemer. I attend First Baptist Church. <clears throat> Today, I have some words for you, and we need them for this day in which we live. <clears throat> Faith, wisdom, trust, courage, hope, prayer, careful planning, work. These words are not new to life or even to difficult times. The woman in the Bible that I will introduce to you today was noted by all of these words. She was only mentioned in the Bible by name twice and a total of just four times altogether. Oh, what a godly example she is to us. You can find this story of this woman that I'm going to talk about in Exodus, Exodus chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. You may know this woman as Moses's Miriam and Aaron's mom. You may know her as Amrian's wife, or you may even know her as Levi's daughter. Her name is Jochebed, and it means honor of God. I'm going to set the stage. Back in Exodus chapter 1, which you can read after we're finished with this devotional, you will see that uh, Pharaoh was terrified that the Israelites whom he had captured and taken into their country, was going to overthrow their country because they were growing in such number. And they seemed to be very strong and healthy. Pharaoh's evil plan was to destroy all of the boys to and under so that they wouldn't be strong anymore and he wouldn't need to worry about it. Well, some of his plans were to drown them, others were just to kill them, the midwives were told to kill the babies when they were born. It was a very evil plan. So now that takes us to Exodus chapter 2, verses 1 through 10, where we pick up about Jochebed and her husband Amram and how they decided to have this plan after she had had this baby to hide the baby. And so for three months, that plan in the house worked pretty good, but you know, as well as I do, it's very difficult to keep a baby quiet. And both she and her husband knew that there was something special about this child. In the Bible, it says that he was a beautiful child, which meant that he was set apart for the purposes of God. They could no longer hide him, so she came up with a dangerous plan, but one that she prayed over and one that she felt was given to her by God. She took the baby, Moses, and this is probably the story you're familiar with, and put him in a basket and pitched it inside and out so that it wouldn't sink and had a lid for it and placed him in the Nile. I say it's a dangerous plan because, number one, floods could overtake it and drown the baby. Number two, crocodiles could eat that baby. Three, uh, somebody could just tip the basket over and uh, drown the baby. And the fourth thing was that he would be found and be drowned anyhow. Well, this wasn't just a haphazard plan. It was a plan where the sister was to, supposed to watch her brother in the basket. And she wasn't named at this point in the Bible, but it was Miriam. And uh, she just kind of kept watch over it. And then by a miracle, and you might say, how is this a miracle? The princess, the daughter of Pharaoh, came down to take a bath in the Nile. This is very unusual because the Nile was not a very clean place and normally they wouldn't bathe there. But she came down uh, with some of her handmaids and found this basket and she sent them to get the basket and bring it to her. And when she lifted the lid, her heart was completely touched and melted to compassion with the cry of a baby. She decided at that point in time that she was going to keep this child. Brave daughter, Miriam, his sister, Miriam, came forward. And uh, that was bravery that she had learned from her mother. And uh, she said, spoke up, do you need a nursemaid? And of course, um, the Pharaoh's daughter did. So she went home and she called her mother and her mother came to nurse uh, the baby and to raise him until it was the proper time. Jochebed gave up Moses twice. She gave him up um, in the Nile in a basket, and then, which was dangerous, and then she gave him up 
to Pharaoh's daughter and household, which was another scary thought too. Um, this was all a great plan because it was God's plan. If you think about Jochebed with all of the, the prayer and the faith and the wisdom and trust and courage, hope, prayer, and careful planning and work she put into raising her children, listen to what happened to them. Moses became a great statesman and leader. Aaron was a priest, first priest, actually. Miriam was a poetess and a prophetess. And you can read through the Bible many different things that Moses, Aaron, and Miriam were part of, and all of God's plan. Jochebed um, was mentioned in the Bible also in the greatest place of all, in Hebrews eleven twenty three. So I'm going to turn right there right now, and I'm going to read this one to you because those of you who uh, know your know the Bible know um, that this is a place where it is called the faith chapter. And this is what it says in 1123. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden for three months by his parents because they saw he was a beautiful child and they were not afraid of the king's edict. What I want to ask you today is, what are you showing and saying to your family and your children in times like this? Um, are you living faith? Are you living in fear? Are you living in anger? Do you have peace? Do you pray? What we live and show our families about God really does matter. Did you know that you can be among the heroes of faith in our time, raising a God-fearing, God-loving men and women of faith? Let's pray. God, we thank you for each of these women in the Bible and each of these women out here listening to this devotional. And we pray that in times like these, you might help us to be women of prayer, wisdom, faith, trust, planning carefully, and working in your will to show our children and families and those that live around us what it is to be a God-fearing, God-loving woman. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.